I want to know this. Are your lips chapped and do you have a nagging cough or maybe you just can't keep your hands warm? We've got DIY solutions with our expert, Wendy Russell. Give her some <laughs> year where you know you might be dealing with extreme cold depending on where you are living what climate you're living in and if you are it does a number on the skin the hair yeah, the absolutely. nails the lips the whole nine so you've got some like DIY hacks for us I, to try. I do and before I do that I, I think I left fluff in your house I'm just oh, gonna I think you start the show right off with that <laughs> 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 these are amazing because they're using things that you already have in the house yes. or get at the dollar store so super inexpensive good but they're gonna they're gonna save us so all right starting off with the shower bomb. We all know the bath bomb, yes. right? But we're gonna make shower bombs. That's the new hip cool thing to do. How do we use the shower bomb? What do you you what actually do you put it in the shower and yeah. I, I we're gonna use ice cube trays. Okay. And I usually put can you smell it? Like how I, it amazing. smells amazing. So we're using the old good old vaporizing rub. Ooh. Um, yeah. Rather than you know putting it here, we're gonna yes. we're, it ends up being like a eucalyptus steam room at a spa. But you but like are we just putting it on the ground? Yeah. In the put it on the top, yeah. Oh, okay. Don't That's put what it, I didn't understand. Yeah, don't put it um, near the tap because right. it will disintegrate immediately. So Got leave it. it at the other end of the tub while you're having a shower. Yeah. Two, three, four, depending yeah. on how aromatic you want Ooh, it. Okay. Especially if you're not feeling great, too. Also really helps with the sinuses and that kind of thing. Okay. My husband's mowed through a few this week because he's not been feeling well. Oh, but nice. <laughs> so, what do you put in there? All right, so it's exactly like a bath bomb, pretty yeah. much. So this is a cup and a half of uh, cornstarch. Cornstarch. Cornstarch, yeah. You put the gloves on. Yeah. And then we're going to do a three quarters of a cup of baking soda. Okay. And I've got a half a cup of water standing by that I'll just add as we go. But uh, if you want to get your hands in there, nice and mix that up. And I'm putting about five tablespoons of this stuff right the in there. The vapor rub. So yeah. we all know that that gives you that nice, strong opening up of all the sinuses. All of the things. Situation. Even if you're not sick, it just smells amazing. It smells amazing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you, you want sort of the consistency of cookie dough, so when you start squishing oh, this together, it actually okay. stays as a bit of I a... I got work to do, is yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay. No, just using. Okay, let me get some water in there for you, because that's going to help keep it together. So once we've made once our little cookie it, dough... Oh, now it's getting very yes. thick. You run to the dollar store and you get a ice cube tray because you're not going to use the ones that you use for ice because no. this is beyond food worthy. Splurge a little and get yeah, another yeah, tray, please, guys. They're a dollar. Come on. <laughs> and then you just dump it right in there and push. We're going to press it nice and hard, almost like um, when you're baking and they want yeah. you to do, um, you, you know, like a nice pressed brown yeah, yeah, sugar. Yeah, yeah. Just shove it in there, and you can. I'm going to be. Really You're gonna throw it all in there. Aggressive with it all and do it's it all at once. Like, it's like ricotta. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It feels right? amazing. It feels good. Okay, so you press that in, press that and in. then you're gonna freeze it. Fr throw it in the freezer until okay. you need it. And you, like, and now my freezer smells amazing. So yeah. I don't have any freezer <laughs> burn stuff. But no, you can um, leave it in there until you need them, and just. Uh, Pop them out, Pop them put out. them in the shower, yeah, I and then that fragrance just hits you, and you don't so ever want to get out. No, that no. must smell amazing. People are like, "Oh my goodness, so do you so run a spa good. here?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, course. it's just my bathroom." <laughs> okay, my what bathroom. do you have next? Okay, so this is kind of a DIY DIY don't because I <laughs> I wanted to show you what Did I it not work? what not to do. Okay, okay, so the deal is when we go on vacation. Yeah. Um, sometimes the power goes out in the winter, or we lose our power, right. and as soon as we come home from a vacation, yes. we can tell the power's gone out because the clocks are blinking, right? Yes. But we have no idea how long the power has been out. That's true. So we don't know if the stuff in the fridge and the freezer is it's any okay. good. okay. So, here's mm. the trick. Don't do what I did and get a glass. I would okay. say use a plastic container <laughs> for okay. this. Um, but you know, for television purposes, glass was adorable. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so put uh, freeze freeze it in a plastic container, um, and it's before just, you just leave, water? Just, just water. Sorry, I, I should say. So that. you put water in a plastic water cup, maybe. Totally, just okay. a small container. Yeah. Let it freeze solid before yeah. you leave. Put a coin on top. Okay. And if it. If it's uh, the freezer's off for too long, yeah, the coin will actually get 
in the ice. So it's really in there. Like this you mean one it'll be frozen? is just sitting on top. Yeah, because once the water starts to melt, yeah. it then starts, it, it takes the coin with it. So it's oh, it's see. right in there. So you may, you're going to question how much, how long your freezer and was actually And then what do up. you do? So, oh, so then you can know to go check your food, go check your ground beef. 100%. Okay. 100%. Got it. And so if it's don't really do what in I there. Do Glass breaks. That in didn't really freezer, work so. out. Yeah. yeah. So let's use plastic. Let's use plastic. Okay. That's a hazard. Okay. All good right. little test yeah. there. Right. What yes. else you got? Um, okay. So uh, the sore throat remedy. Yes. Our producer Kate swears by this. Yes. I prefer my honey uh, in a hot toddy, like my Scottish grandmother mm. used to used to feed me. Mm -hmm. But um, a, a straight up honey on a spoon. Totally. Totally helps with sore throat yes. or a cough. Yes. Instant if you don't have cough syrup handy. So yes, just it's almost the exact same thing. And like a natural honey, like a yeah. manuka honey, that's what yeah. I do. I just okay. take it by the spoonful, and so do the kids. Amazing. It's the same as a. I think it's the same as a cough syrup. I'm gonna have to adapt that. You try that. Usually it's or just whiskey keep it in or brandy. Toddy. Toddy. Okay, that's all right. fine. <laughs> they both work well. Um, and no then for dry cuticles. Oh yeah. So um, if you don't have the fancy cuticle oil yeah. from the drugstore, yeah, use your home cooking oil so olive oil coconut oil avocado oil whatever you have yes and just you Dip can, her in. Uh, and you can be you could be fancy and get a little you know a little dropper and do yeah. do all of that but it just it's perfect in front of the TV yes. a little activity you can even rub it into the back of your hands you and, can use those oh. natural oils literally for everything yes. like I put those natural oils in my hair oh amazing. I have no problem with them on my skin as long as they are the good natural yes. stuff yeah like the good coconut oil the good extra virgin olive oil avocado oil you mm -hmm. have there use it on everything like it's all good it's awesome works like a charm now um, what are you are these socks or <laughs> gloves or what's what's that so for? baby socks hey, baby socks. <laughs> either uh, your child's because you're not using them anymore and they're clean yeah. or dollar store okay and uh, two tablespoons of regular rice okay in here I'm certain you can use barley too I haven't tried it yeah but this works Anything like a that's charm. gonna weigh it down a little bit is it, that no, what you're doing? this is to heat this is these are DIY hand warmers oh. for your gloves so okay. so you all you do is just tie a little knot in the top yeah two tablespoons of the rice and I've got some here that literally you put these in the microwave for 20 seconds on high and then you uh, put them on your hand first okay slip it into your glove now this is perfect if you're just going out to shovel the snow yeah um, or you're going for a brisk walk and they are just perfectly toasty and that's gonna and stay warm for, for, for a little about while 30 minutes Oh, yeah. that's good. 30 Half minutes. an hour is amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now the very last thing is a lot of us have um, the dry flaky lips. <gasps> All the time. Right? Never so you've ends. got a great home re remedy for right. that. Right, because there are lots of products out there. They don't necessarily, you know, do the trick. So yeah. my little, my favorite trick is just the corner of a clean face cloth. Yeah. And off you go. What'd you dip it in? <laughs> that's just warm water. Oh, just warm yeah. water. Yeah, I'm going to make a mess here. because No, I it's had... actually, you're doing it quite nicely. <laughs> so you put that on your lip and you yeah. flake off all that extra skin. Skin and you've exfoliated it's your lips. It's the best thing I've found. I can't, okay. I've never found a product that works. But. Well, a lot of people say if you keep using the lip balm over and over and over again, it's not really doing it's anything not. anymore. So you, you gotta take, take the, the flakes take off. Take the skin off and then yeah. immediately put your lip balm back on. Nice. And you have baby soft lips. Thank you, Wendy. You're Very good. <laughs> mm, so soft.